do you think we will one day build an AI system that a human being can love and that loves that human back? Like in the movie Her. Look, I'm I'm a, a pragmatist. For me, AI is a is a tool. It's like a shovel. Mm. And the ethics of using the shovel are always um, with us, the people. And, and it has to be this way. Uh, in terms of, of, of emotions, I would hate to come into my kitchen and see that my refrigerator spoiled all my food, then have it explained to me that it fell in love with the dishwasher and I wasn't as nice as the dishwasher, so as a result, it neglected me. That would just be a bad experience and it would be a bad product. I would probably not recommend this refrigerator to my friends. Yeah. Um, and that's where I draw the line. I think, to me, technology has to be reliable. It has to be predictable. I want my car to work. I don't want to fall in love with my car. I, I, I just want it to work. Mm. I want it to complement me, not to replace me. I have very unique human properties. And I want the machines to make me, turn me into a superhuman. Like I'm already a superhuman today thanks to the machines that surround me. And I'll give you examples. I can run across the Atlantic at near the speed of sound at 36,000 feet today. That's kind of amazing. I can, uh, my voice now carries me all the way to Australia um, using a smartphone uh, today. And it's not, not the speed of sound, which would take hours. It's the speed of light. My voice travels at the speed of light. <laughs> How cool is that? That makes me superhuman. Yes. I would even argue my, my flushing toilet makes me superhuman. Mm -hmm. Just think of the time before flushing toilets. And, and maybe you have a very old person in your family that you can ask about this or, or take a trip to rural India mm -hmm. to experience it. Um, it's, it's, it makes me superhuman. So to me, what technology does, it complements me. It, it, it makes me stronger. Therefore, words like love and compassion have very little, <sighs> have very little interest in this for machines. I have interest in people. You don't think, uh, first of all, beautifully put, beautifully argued, but do you think love has use in our tools, compassion? I think love is a, a beautiful human concept. And if you think of what love really is, love is a means to convey safety, to convey trust. Uh, I think trust has a, a huge need in technology as well, not just people. We want to trust our technology the same way we, tr or in a similar way we trust people. Um, in, in human interaction, standards have emerged and, and feelings, emotions have emerged, maybe genetically, maybe biologically, that are able to convey sense of trust, sense of safety, sense of passion, of love, of dedication, that, that makes the human fabric. And I'm a big slacker for love. I want to be loved, I want to be trusted, I want to be admired, all these wonderful things. And because all of us, we have this beautiful system, I wouldn't just blindly copy this to the machines. Here's why. When you look at, uh, say, transportation, um, you could have observed that uh, up to the end of the 19th century, almost all transportation used any number of legs, from one leg to two legs to a thousand legs. And you could have concluded that is the right way to move about the environment. Um, Maybe with the exception of birds who use flapping wings. In fact, there are many people in aviation that flapped wings to their arms and jumped from cliffs. Most of them didn't survive. Um, then, then the interesting thing is that the technology solutions are very different. Uh, like in technology, it's really easy to build a wheel. In biology, it's super hard to build a wheel. There's very few perpetually rotating things in in, in biology, and they usually run cells uh, 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 things. In in Engineering, we can build wheels. And those wheels gave rise to cars. Um, similar wheels gave rise to, to aviation. Like there's no thing that flies that wouldn't have something that rotates, uh, like a jet engine or, or helicopter blades. So the, the solutions have used very different physical laws than nature. And that's great. So for me to be too much focused on, oh, this is how nature does it, let's just replicate it. If we really believed that the solution to the agriculture revolution was a humanoid robot, we would still be waiting today.